Hi, Tech Robert here again. So I'm going to continue the MMU 2S build and um, have some coffee. So let's have a look at the um, instructions first. So, so this is the um, part two of electronics and MMU 2S unit assembly. And we actually succeeded in assembling the whole unit, so I'll put a card up there for that video. So now we're just going to continue with step 18, which is to prepare the um, PTFE tube with its fittings. And then we need to put the fittings on the tube. And um, then we're actually going to put the unit. MMU unit on the printer, which is kind of fun after such a long time of building. Ah, we have to make sure that it's in the center, and then we will um, click it on. Center, click on. Ah, like that. And then we will um, put the uh, PTFE tube in place on both sides so we can get the filament to flow from the selector down to the actual hot end and then we're going to connect the electronics and to be able to do that we need to adapt the door so we have to take the door off and take a part out of it so we can bring in the cable and then step 25 uh, put um, the door back and then uh, route the uh, MMU cable through and then um, tie up the uh, the main cables to the hot end which we loosened very many videos ago and then we're going to connect in the power and the um, signal cable and then there are some optional steps which are not necessary because uh, I'm not upgrading I have a MKS3 printer so I don't need to um, apply any of those changes and then it's just to close the electronics box and then it's um, Haribo time <laughs> actually we should have final check and then Haribo time but they say it can take Haribo's before the final check okay so um, let's get into it then Okay, I already kind of moved the printer and the MMU unit into place, so it's in a little bit of a way, but the only thing we need to do is to take the remaining tube bit and then we need to put the, the ends on. And I should just press in. And then we do the same on the other side. Let's just to put it on and press it in. So that's done. That was step 19. Uh, step 20 is just to pre prepare. And they say the printer should be off, but I uh, would think that most people have it off right now. And then we will just put it on. It's very quick, <laughs> overly complicated. But anyway, first we're supposed to just hang this in place. Oh, I wonder if this is any good. Yeah, wait. I need to take another camera view. So I was thinking like that actually. So it should just hang here, so don't click it on, yeah. So just centered on. Oh, I think I actually have to switch to um, the 
So here's the frame, and uh, then we need to like center this part. Ouch! Like they consider this the center for some odd reason. Not, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see now. So that's 13 on that side. Supposed to press it down carefully. So, wish me luck. And hope it doesn't snap. Duh! Went okay. Just I don't like the sound. And now it should not be possible to move it. Now it's actually very stuck. And both the hooks are in place, so as we see underneath here, so both in place. Okay, now we need to get the tube connected. So now we need to put the, um, the tube in place. We should try and screw it in here first. Not to use excessive force. Okay. So just finger tight. And then we should come up to here. And we should screw this end. Take, take the wrench and then we should carefully tighten it but not going overboard. So it is plastic parts and corporate threads and stuff. Okay, then we should make sure that the pipe looks okay. So it's kind of straight and not being overly strengthened and stretched. Let's see how this will work. Oops, I think that'll probably do it. And the pipe looks okay. So, I would say that's pretty done. the electronics box and I think we only use the mini cam because it's really the overhead cam is not gonna show much so anyway the first thing to do is to make an entry for the new for the new cable and um, <coughs> they suggest that one should unscrew the hinge and take the whole box out because they have delivered these pliers and you you need to do that to be able to use them but basically since I have side clippers I can I can pretty much make that cut or cut off the corner or a hole in the edge here without it's gonna have to evaluate 
how big it should be. So that's cut, so that was step 24. And then. Oh, why? Just a sec. My fault. Forgot to turn the battery. <laughs> can't, can't blame the GoPro cam. Anyway, first I'm going to put back this um, the main extruder cable and fiddle it into place and, and um, put it in with its holder. So I'll, I'll work on that so we get it out of the way so I don't have to fight with that. Okay, now I got the I actually got it, I think I got it in better than I had it previously. I hope. Well, anyway, and now we've got this one that's just it comes in through the corner. So the next thing is to get those cables connected up. Okay, I need to first connect the extruder filament sensor. It should go this way into the orange connector on the bottom row. So let's try and get that done. So, okay, now we need to take the um, MME unit signal cable and we need to put this on the top row of the that same connector uh, with brown being inside. So I'm going to try and do it now. A bit lack of space. Okay. Tough. Should go in there. Oh well, I'll just have to try my best. Oh, that was not easy to get in. Really difficult to get in. I was nearly convinced that it wouldn't go in. But then it actually did. And then the other thing, when you think you've got it in, then you really need to make sure you push it right down to the bottom because it, it actually doesn't slide in very, like, nicely. For some reason, I don't understand why. But anyway, it, it is in now, and I've triple-checked. So we have the um, extruder uh, filament sen sensor wire and then the signal wire to the MMU unit now connected. And now we need to connect the, the power. And um, oh, that should go. Oh look, one can see the connectors wrong. So they should go onto the two first ones, and plus to plus, or red to red, and yeah, black to black, or plus to plus, and minus to minus. First one is plus, and the second one is minus. The first one is red, and the second one is black. <laughs> 
And then these hooks need to be which way? Oh, they should point up like they did when we in oh, when the printer was in. So they should be oh, going in, they should be like that. So out out from the power of the electronics box. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually have to try. I, I won't even try and film it, it'll just be lots of hands flying in the way all the time. So I'm going to now try and put them into place. Wish me luck. Oh, okay, I got him in place. I'm not a very good pitch angle, but it's from underneath of the power supply. And you can see them up there and there. So there's two connectors now connected. So hope they'll be okay. So what remains is to um Try and close this electronics box. I already or cheat organized the cables just a little bit. Oh, it's a lot of cable. Actually, nothing should be pinched in a special way. And then it's yeah, the screw back. And I think I know what's missing. Now I know where the flat screw came from. The flat nut, I think. This. That's where it dropped out of. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I wondered where flat nut had come from. And now I know it fell out of the door. Because I actually had to turn the printer in another angle to be able to put the to put the cable in, so. so I'll put it back in there. So that's good. So that explains where I was afraid it would have come from. Something a bit more important than that. So it's closed. Oops, open it. Should I just open it up again and make sure? Ah! It sounded like I crimped, crimped the cable slightly. It's okay now. Oh, I wonder if this is going to work. Okay, but that's. Um, Final check and um, horrible time. I mean, there isn't much pictures to really look at. So anyway, that was interesting. Um, uh, quite demanding the whole process. Let's check the list and see if there's anything that's missed. Nope, so that should be all of it. Okay, so anyway, that's the end of this um, episode. Um, consider subscribing if you found it interesting, useful. Um, you know, hit the bell icon to be informed of new episodes. We're going to continue the build. There's a few more steps to remain. And um, enjoy building. That's a very important thing to do, even when one gets frustrated a bit. And I'll see you in the next one.